Have you ever wondered why Michael Jackson, the king of pop himself, waged a colossal battle against Sony and the music industry? It's a story that transcends the melodies and moonwalks, delving into a world of power, control, and the fight for artistic freedom. This is not just about a musician and his music, but a man standing up against an industry titan, challenging the status quo. Let's delve into the world of music's glittering facade, where the struggle for power and control is as intense as the spotlight. In the late 1990s, Michael Jackson's relationship with Sony began to sour. The king of pop, the man who had given life to so many hits, was beginning to feel the sting of corporate profit over artistry. This conflict was set into motion with the release of the album Invincible. This was an album that Jackson poured his heart and soul into, but when it hit the shelves, it was met with an underwhelming promotional effort from Sony. This lack of support was seen by Jackson as a betrayal. He felt that his art was being sacrificed for the sake of corporate gain. His response was powerful and public. He took to the streets and the airwaves protesting against Sony and the way they had handled his music. This was a bold move, a public outcry from a global superstar. But this was only the beginning of the King of Pop's battle against the music industry. Michael Jackson's fight was not just about money or fame. It was about artistic freedom. The King of Pop accused Sony, one of the biggest corporations in the music industry, of racism and conspiracy. He claimed that they deliberately sabotaged his career, an allegation that sent shockwaves through the industry and beyond. Jackson was never one to shy away from speaking his mind. He used his platform to criticize the industry that had made him a superstar, highlighting the need for artists to have control over their work. He took his protest to the streets, leading rallies and delivering impassioned speeches about the importance of artistic freedom. His battle wasn't just his own, it was for every artist who ever felt stifled or controlled by the corporate powers that be. In the end, Michael Jackson's struggle was a symbol of the fight many artists face against the corporate machinery of the music industry. Michael Jackson's fight against Sony and the music industry was a defining chapter in his legacy. His struggle, marked by a fierce stand for creative control and a relentless pursuit of artistic freedom, sent ripples through the industry. It challenged the status quo, inspiring artists to take charge of their work. His battle, while not without its trials, left an indelible mark on the realm of music. Michael Jackson, the king of pop, used his voice not just for music, but for the fight for artistic freedom, a fight that echoes even today.